Hey everybody, it's Johnny Dice here, and today we're looking at Sample Logic's plugin debut, Animation Station. Now, we all love arpeggiators, we use them all the time, but imagine if there was an arpeggiator that could control your piano VST or your orchestral library, and, uh, or maybe even your soft synth that didn't have one yet. Well, Sample Logic's made that Animation Station. It's an amazing arpeggiator that can give you incredible control over different patterns and creative options. And today I have a track that I made that I feel like it, it was kind of a little bit dead, to be honest, and it didn't really have any energy, it wasn't interesting. And with Animation Station, we took it to something and made it a lot better. So let's have a look at this track I made and see if Animation Station can save it. Let's go. So here's a track I made a bit earlier. Let's have a listen. So it's got potential, but I really don't feel like this track is doing it for me right now. And I think a lot of it is because it's a bit simple. So what I want to do is use the animation station to take this to the next level and step it up. So let's do it. As you can see up here, there's some pretty simple chords, some you can make with some kind of MIDI chord pack or one of those things people are using. Um, let's take that to the next level with Animation Station. So here it is, looks amazing. And all we need to do is route the MIDI from this into the synth plug. So I'll take the MIDI from the synth plug, put it onto the Animation Station and make the MIDI in animation station. There it is. Let's check out just the default preset playing at those chords. Wow, that's already a lot better than it was. But uh, what I want to show you guys is uh, you can really get some crazy patterns. So let's try one of the glitched ones. I'm going to go for maybe, maybe 33. Let's see how that sounds. In my opinion, that's already a million times better. Um, let's try another one, maybe glitch to 35. And let's have a look at what's happening on the sequencer here. That sounds pretty good to me. I'm definitely gonna keep that. I think those stutters, which uh, you hear there, those um, rapid 64th notes, um, they really, really sound good to me. So I'm gonna keep that preset. I'm not gonna change anything. And I just wanna say, um, these kind of progressions, uh, if you're a pianist or a keyboardist, you'll probably never make them because it's just too hard to play. But with technology like this, you can really quickly get very technically difficult ideas uh, very quickly. So the next thing I want to do is, um, I've got a really simple drum pattern here just to clap, but I think we need some hi-hats. So let's do the same thing again. So I just fast forwarded a bit, did the same thing, made an animation station, and I've just got one single note here, just a C3, and that's going to be triggering all of our hi-hat activity. So let's have a listen to just a crazy hi-hat pattern made of animation station. So that's pretty awesome. These kind of hi-hat patterns would take a long time to program manually. So I'm really grateful I can just do it really quickly now. Uh, you'll see there's some transposing there, the hi-hats uh, plus two over here and minus six. That gives it a lot of uh, interesting detail, things that uh, I really like the sound of. Let's just try an even faster stutter rate at the start here, maybe a 64th. And another thing you can do is you can drag, actually drag the MIDI in from Animation Station to your DAW. And if you want to get more scientific and edit it, you can do it here. Nice. So as you guys can imagine, 
I want to just animate everything now. So we're going to animate the lead, the baseline. We're going to add a kick drum that's been animated. Just, just everything's going to feel it. And I think that's going to be what saves this track. So here we go. All right, guys, I've done it. I'm going to drag, I made animators for everything. I'm dragging the MIDI onto those. I'm putting these into monitoring mode so they can receive that MIDI. And I think that's it. Let's have a listen to the full track all animated. So that was just a quick overview of how to use this plugin in action. And I really, really like it. It definitely saved my track. Uh, my track was quite boring and then giving it some animation and arpeggiation really made it more fun to listen to. So I'm going to be using this a lot. If you guys want to know more about this, definitely check out samplelogic.com or some of the videos on the SampleLogic YouTube page that go into a bit more depth and show off even more of the features. So guys, that's all I have to say. If you like this, please hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe so we can keep this channel going and growing. And I'll see you guys in the next one.